The toggle is known as a memory symbol, and this is because it remembers the signal that you fed into it, and keeps that signal until you reset it later. There are many ways to get a toggle into your program, the first of which is to click on the logic folder under the program view, type in the word toggle, and hit enter. This automatically populates the logic folder with the toggle symbol, which you can open by double clicking it. Alternatively, you could scan over to the logic symbols folder, go down to memory, expand that, and click and drag the toggle symbol over to the detail view. Unlike other symbols such as the AND or the OR, the toggle does not have expandable inputs. It has static three inputs and two outputs. The characteristic input of the toggle is the clock, and this kind of makes the toggle behave like a clicky pin. If you click the pin once, the tip is exposed, allowing you to write on the paper. When you click the pin again, the tip retracts into the pin and disallows you from writing on the paper. When you click the clock, or set the clock to one, the output of the toggle goes to one. When you pulse the clock again or send it a one again, the output of the toggle turns back to zero. Let's make a quick test program using the toggle. I'm going to pull in the X panel that I've already put into the program. I'm going to drive the inputs of the toggle using my X panel. And then I'm going to take the output of the toggle and put it on the X panel as well. With the simple program put together, I'm going to save and upload it to the processor. With the program uploaded and running, let's take a look at how the toggle works. Notice that the output of the toggle is off, meaning that the output star of the toggle is on. What we're going to be looking at mostly right now is the just the plain output of the toggle. If we press the clock button, we notice that the output goes to on, and if we press it again, we notice that the output goes to off. Now we can also get this to happen using the set and reset buttons, as you can imagine. Pressing the set button makes the output turn on, Pressing the reset button makes the output turn off. But what's interesting is how you can mix and match these buttons. So if I turned the output on with the clock feature, I could reset the output by pressing the reset button. And similarly, if I had pressed the set button to turn the output on, I could press the clock input and make the output turn back off. So what you'll notice from this operation is that the clock input simply inverts whatever the output of the toggle is currently, while set and reset will always do the same thing. Set will always set the output to high, and reset will always set the output to low. A common example of when to use the toggle symbol is for the single power button feature. Since this feature is so familiar to many people, a lot of customers will like to have this feature transferred over to their control systems. So you could use a single button on a panel to control an entire room's power state, a single device's, it doesn't matter. Alternatively, you could use the toggle to make a really cool game of whack-a-mole. And if you do that, please post the links in the description. I want to play it.